is the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of un Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today I've got something that was part of an unboxing that comes out today, uh, October 12th, 2022. Um, but it's, yeah. So Actually, maybe I'll have this come out today. Why not? Okay check this box out this was in a big box Ooh, what is it this is pretty neat so the lid comes off and the whole thing opens up this is from Nissan Foods of Singapore and I want to make sure you can see this how do we we'll go like that 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 work kind of well so there's a, a flying saucer. And then we've got, check them out. We've, we've got, I'm guessing this is a guy who uh, flings around uh, truffles and this guy flings around cheese. But yeah, check that out. Cool. And in the middle is Nissen UFO Truffle Carbonara. And that's going to be what I'm going to cook up now. But yeah, this is, a, this is a really neat thing. Thanks to the kind folks over at Nissen Foods SG for shooting this over. But yeah, look, there's little, little people on it and spaceships and all sorts of cool stuff going on. So yeah, this is this is pretty groovy. I, I dig this. Thank you very much. Let's attempt to put this back together. Did pretty darn good in shipping. I mean, they they put in so many packing peanuts it wasn't even funny, and they were bagged packing peanuts. I like bagged packing peanuts because the ones that are loose, oh man, those make a mess. But the ones in the bag. That's the ticket. So, how do we make such a wonderful thing as a truffle carbonara? I will show you. This is, this is interesting too. So, the top is clear, but the bottom and the sides are not. And if you're looking at this review, yeah, I took this and cut it out and scanned it and did a bunch of Photoshopping of it and it worked out. Let's open this. There we go. So you take out uh, this big sachet and this sachet of oil, which is, I'm guessing that's what has the uh, the truffliness going on. And then here's the bowl slash tray, and you fill it up with boiling water, which I have here. Uh, right. Be right to there. And then we're gonna throw these on top to hold it down, and this goes for four minutes. And I think I need to put more battery. Two, three, four. Bammo. I need to put more batteries in this thing. I don't know what it's doing, but it's been kind of weird lately. So what's going on? Uh, lots of crazy politics stuff that I'm not even going to talk about. Um, I still enjoy my toaster. It's a fun toaster. Um, 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 oh, I talked to, whoops. No, 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 wrong button. Cancel, cancel. Let me. So, somebody in the group, uh, Ramen Junkies, he posted an image of these noodles from Ecuador. Uh, I can't remember what they're called. I won't mention it because this is a different review. But, uh,. I was like, what the heck is that? I've never heard of this brand. Cool. So I sent them an email and I got a reply and I'm going to be doing reviews of 
Ecuadorian instant noodles pretty soon. So that's cool. Yay! What else? Oh, there's an enormous orb spider web that was built, I'm guessing, last night. It's freaking huge. I mean, big, big, big. I want to say it's like that big. And it's hanging from a tree to our deck to like the deck above. It's pretty neat. We've had a lot of flies lately. And it's like I've been mentioning, the weather around here is very unseasonal. Usually by now, you're looking at temps in the morning, getting close to freezing. There should be like frost on roofs at, at about this point in the game in October, mid, mid October. And there isn't, it, it's been getting up in the 70s, which is really strange for just north of Seattle. Really strange. But what do you do? You know, what do you do? Ooh, it's got the, the drain spout. It's got the four arrows it says peel to there to drain it okay sometimes when you have these little arrows on the lid that means you poke use a chopstick to poke holes in them usually you'll see that with uh south korean varieties so i don't know we'll see but yeah carbonara yeah i'm enthused i'm definitely enthused um, what else is going on? Um, not a heck, oh. So Mimi's still sick. And my poor wife, Kit, she fell at work. She's had problems with her hips since she got COVID that have just been absolutely horrible. She had like really bad uh, joint pain. The only thing that got rid of that was going completely gluten-free, which I've always thought gluten-free, that's a bunch of hokum, but honestly, her life got better once she did that which is something i've always thought it'd be interesting to try but didn't you know but now i'm thinking like that'd be neat but i i review noodles i'd have to go all completely to rice noodles oat noodles i think oat noodles but yeah so she she fell at work yesterday which really sucks they've been doing a whole bunch of work they got a new system and she got her foot around like they were working on something under her desk and she went up, got up to like deliver a, some paperwork to somebody else in that place and it wrapped around her ankle and then the boop down. Yeah, not cool. She needs to catch a break, folks. Yeah, send good vibes. That would be kind and wonderful of you and appreciated by me, the ramen raider and her too. All right, so that is ready to go. I've peeled it up to there. Oh, it's hot in there. So let's go over to the sink and drain our noodle. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drain the noodle. Here we go. It's draining. Ow! There's no way around it. It's hot. But we're draining it. Shout out to the guy that will never ever talk to me, I don't know why, but to Tontantin. He's another guy who does uh, noodle reviews on YouTube and, uh, well he does more of reviews. I just show you cooking them and my reviews end up on www.theramenraider.com. But uh, he's got some little thing down in the bottom of his sink. And when he does the draining, it'll like, because of the heat, it'll go poop. And so that's like his thing. I don't know what it is, but he does that. And that's kind of interesting. Here's our fancy, fancy lid. And then we've got this one and that one. I think I'm going to go for this one first. It seems like a good idea. And I'm gonna get me some scissors. I've gotta do another one today. I don't, I'm gonna have to dig around and find which one to do. We went the other day to get uh, pork belly to do, to make cha fresh chashu. And while we were at the, the place, the place is called Double D Meats and they've got like really good stuff there. Anyways. Um, 
but uh, I think that might be the carbonara or the truffle element. But anyways, I've got oh, what do you call it? A uh, garlic bratwurst. And I need to do something with it. Wow, that's a lot of a flavor powder. Here, let's have a look. I'm ready to try this stuff out. Truffle carbonara sounds like a really neat thing, especially from Singapore. I'm really thrilled to give this a try. So that's what we're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, let's see what happens here. Oh, you know, I've got some Parmesan cheese. That might go well with this. I don't know. I'm unsure. But yeah, we're getting all stirred up and ready to go. There are little meaty bits in here, which is textured vegetable pro protein, soy protein, which adds a nice little textural bit. It's almost like tofu in a way, and a lot of the times I think, well, why not just use tofu? It's really not a big stretch from, I don't think, from textured vegetable protein to tofu because they're both made out of soy. So, yeah. Alright. Alright, here we go. I'm, I'm ready to try this sucker out. Again, thanks so much to the folks over at Nissan Singapore. I'm really interested in trying stuff like this. Here we go. Yeah. I'm getting the truffle, I'm getting the definite carbo kind of thing going on. It's very bacony, very creamy. It's good. I want to eat it all. I will be I will be happy to tell you that I want to eat all of this. It's yummy. That can be your new motto. Truffle carbonara from Nissan Singapore. It's yummy. It is. It, it actually really is. All right. Okay, there's our flying saucer of a plate, or just our, yeah. So we'll drop this on here. Can you turn the TV down a bit, Miriam? That would be appreciated. Very noisy television, ladies and gentlemen. Driving me a little nuts. Just a little. Yummy. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of spring onion on here. I just like spring onion. I don't care what the application is. I like spring onion. Maybe in this application we should call it scallion. And I've got some crispy fried onion here I think would go well with this. I think something I would normally put on this would be like prosciutto. Um, Things of that nature but today we're just gonna keep it pretty mellow it really doesn't need a lot this is quite tasty so let's let the rotato do its magical dance of fascination for you here we go
All right, well, thanks again for watching. Yeah, if you're in Singapore, you're in luck. You can get this stuff. It just came out on October 3rd. And, uh, yeah, go hit it up. Go give it a try. It looks like it's not too expensive either. So, it's been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Like, subscribe, and visit www.theramenraider.com for top 10 lists and everything you can imagine. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Now, let's go. 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 Now